Hey, this is James Packard with Western Welding Academy. Uh, today we're gonna we're gonna take a test. Uh, here at Western Welding Academy, we even have the instructors take a test, just like the students do. Uh, mine's kind of a two-fold deal. It's to keep up on, on uh, the testing procedures and I'm, I'm going for my uh, CWE. So at Western Welding Academy, we should have CWIs, CWEs, uh, legitimate. It's as good as it gets. Okay, so as you can see, I got my tax in there. I got it setting on a 45 degree. We're gonna do this test in the 6G. It's a two inch double extra heavy uh, 6G test. Uh, it's gonna be gas tungsten arc, uh, root pass, gas tungsten hot pass, and a 7018 fill and cap. I always put a tack top, bottom, check for the next gap, put it on whatever side works best, and then I'm gonna run this side right here first. Then I'll come back, feather my tacks out as needed, and I'll run this other side. That is just right. Okay, we got our TIG bead, our TIG hot pass in. Now we're gonna switch uh, to 7018, start filling this thing out. Okay, we made it past inspection. He gave us all clear to mark it, cut it up, start bending straps. Okay, we're gonna be bending this to ASME section nine. What we're gonna do is find the top of our pipe. We're gonna start, start our quarter over there about two o'clock. That's one quarter we're gonna mark, and we're gonna go opposite quarters from there. So two o'clock, should be like uh, eight o'clock, uh, four o'clock, and then, and then uh, 10 o'clock. So I got it all marked up, and we'll take her back to the torque. Cut her up, get to grinding. Okay, just like always, we uh, start out by cleaning our tip on the torch. We got the bottle set, uh, five on the acetylene, 40 on the oxygen. We get a nice clean tip on here so we can get a nice straight cut on our coupon. Uh, I'd like to have a, a spare file hanging around here, just an old junker you can stick inside that pipe. Sometimes when you're cutting through that pipe, it'll heat up the other side, and it seems like inevitably, it gouges out right over your bead where you need to bend it. You don't want any gouges like that across your bead that you gotta bend. I'm 
getting ready to prep my straps. If you haven't already seen the video, click the link in the description below how to prep your straps and we'll get to it. I'll see you on the bending machine. Okay, now that we got our straps prepped up, let's see how they bend. If you enjoyed that video, smash that like button, subscribe, check out the link below for our other socials, and we'll see you on the next weld.